We're going to be talking about the area of a triangle for both right angles and for non-right angle triangles. For now, I thought we would start with the revision of how a right angle triangle works because it's easier. After that, we'll look at what happens if it's not a right angle triangle. You ever seen this one right here? I'm still confused why I need to put my cake in the oven at 120 degrees. A protractor. All right, so uh, if we want to find the area of a triangle, we have an equation. It's actually in your formula book that's just under the prior knowledge, but it says that the area, okay, let's see, it's going to be, well, you can imagine as this whole rectangle right here, because that will be the length, you know, the base times the height. Um, that will give you the whole thing. We just have to take half of it. So that's why we say base times height divided by two. This is the formula we would use for a right angle triangle. Okay, so this is the one we would use. So in this case right here, let's see, it would be, I may as well just solve it here. So then we would have, uh, let's see, the area would be, well, base, which is two times three, which is the height, uh, divided by two. And we would see then that the twos would cancel out. You know, so hopefully you'll see this is really easy. And therefore we would say that the area will be, let's see, it's gonna be three, and it's meters times meters, so it's gonna be meters squared. That would be the answer here, just to show you. Now that, I mean, that wasn't exactly brain busting, I hope, so uh, that was for right angle ones. Now what happens if it's not right angle? So this is gonna work for also non-right angle, so th this basically works for everything. Right? For right angle or not right angle, we don't know which it is. So let's see what we do here. Well, we're gonna have to name our sides, so capital B, this becomes a lowercase b. This, capital A, this side here becomes lowercase a, this one is c, so that one becomes a c here. And we have an equation for the area of a triangle, and it goes like this. It's one half times a times b times the sine of angle c. This is the area, okay? So this is what we do. We say the area is this. So that's important, okay? So it's a times b times sine c. Uh, maybe I'll put that actually like this. This is on your formula book, which is nice. You don't have to memorize it. Um, Maybe I'll write it down, I'll say, make sure you know, it's on your formula booklet. Okay, so how do we actually use this? Again, don't get too tripped up with which one is A or B or C. The important thing, I think this is maybe the, the more important version, just so you know how to use it, you need to know a side angle side in a row. So in other words, in this case right here, the way this one was uh, drawn like this right here, I had to know a side and a side, so A and B, but also angle C. Do you notice this in a row? Look, it has a side, angle, and a side. So you have to know them in a row, so side, angle, side. That's why I said S-A-S -S for short. So you have side, angle, side. Now it could have been, just keep in mind, you could also say it equals, let's see, what's another side, angle, side? It could be A and C sine B. Do you see that? It could also be that, just to try to show you. It could be A, C, sine b, because that's another side angle side. Or it could be this side, this angle, this side. So c, a, b. So it would be side c, sine b, side b, sorry. So one half, and it would be c, and b, sine of that angle a. So just to show you, you could sort of rotate it around. So the important thing is not the letters, it's how it works. So this is actually the important part here, knowing you need a side angle side. So let's do an actual example here. Uh, we know that the area of the triangle is uh, 383 kilometers squared. What is the angle theta? Now, this is just me being a little bit funny. I found this teacher here, this triangle, which I thought was really clever. So do you notice I tried to make the triangle here with the same shape as the triangle? Lucky I even put the angle up here just to try to make it look like eyes. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, well. Let's see if we can solve this. So the whole idea is we know the area. So uh, maybe it's important to write down the equation for the area of a non-right angle triangle. It's one half a b sine c. It's always a nice idea to show your teacher or whoever's marking it, you know what you're doing. All right, how do we use this? Well, we know the area. The area is three eight three. We know that equals one half. Now, which ones will I use? Remember, I need to know a side angle side in a row. All right, I need to s a s. So side angle side. So because of that, I'm going to use this, this, and this. I'm going to do this side and this side. So that means it's going to be 31, could be my first term, this A. The next one will be 25. i got to say my writing is really poor here. I'm just trying to make it a little bit nicer here. So 30, 
one. I didn't even make it look nicer, did I? Uh, all that times 25. All that times a sine of angle theta, which I don't know. So let's try to do this with our calculator here. So um, I guess I could actually do some of it without the calculator for now. I can get rid of my 1 over 2 by multiplying by 2. So I can say 2 times 383. That equals 31 times 25 times sine theta. I guess then I can say that sine theta equals all this mess here, so 2 times 383, all that divided by 31 times 25, because these are multiplying the sine, so to get rid of them, I divide. That's about as far as I can get, I think. So I'm going to say then that theta equals, remember this is sine theta that I'm getting right there. I want just theta, I want the angle. So to do that, remember how I undo a sign? I do inverse sign. So I'm going to inverse sign of that big mess there. So 2 times 383. I'm getting tired of always writing this, right? All that over 31 times 25. Let's see how this goes. Let me do that on my good old calculator. Make sure that my calculator is in degree mode. And I'm just going to do this. So I'm going to say, all right, well, what is? Let me just take a look here. So 2 times... 2 times 383 is that. Well, I'm going to take that and divide that by, let's see, in brackets here, I'm going to do 31 times 25. Just try to get that answer there. There we go, I get some fraction. All right, great. So uh, then I do the inverse sine of that answer. Inverse sine, and you can say answer in blue here, so answer. And I get 81.25, so to three significant figures, it's 81.3. So I'll say, so theta is approximately 81.3 degrees. So there we go. I've solved this triangle.